That's Max Brown, former USC and Pittsburgh quarterback. I'm Chris Hassel. Max, when you look at the headlines for both of these teams, what are you thinking here at halftime? Yeah, for UAB, I'm looking at the rushing attack. We saw a heavy dose of that in the first half, but as the game progresses into the second half, are they able to wear down Louisiana Tech's defense? That's a big factor for me in this game. Defense has stepped up at big moments in this game so far. They've kept them in this game. I mean, that's going to be the storyline of the first half for La Tech is early missed opportunities. We're seeing it right here. Bang, bang play at the end zone. Spencer Brown, we've talked about how much of a workhorse he is, but his Madden truck stick rating is a good old 99 at that point. He's looking for contact, lowers the left shoulder, makes a DB pay. I was a QB that's got a long, long neck and a big Adam's apple. <laughs> I would have got destroyed on that one. The touchdown connection. And watch this safety right here. He's going to work towards Hardy, who's right here on the bottom of your screen, but that opens up the slot receiver in the middle. And when we play it right here, watch him break down the crease right in the middle that's where the green grass is it's a great throw great ball and a big time catch they're going to try to get the ball to trey shopshire on the bottom of your screen they're going to high low this corner with a five yard in route and an inside fade from the slot shropshire doesn't run the great route he kind of lays off of it a little bit but moral of the story this ball should not be thrown both those guys are covered i want lucero to step up in the pocket and try to find his check down it's great coverage by this la tech defense a headsy play and it's 10-0 bulldogs we're seeing it right here this two minute drive from aaron allen the drive of the game got smoke harris involved hammered a whole shot in there Absolute masterful job at the quarterback position, utilizing his legs, getting the ball out of his hands. I'm giving the rock to number four. He's your senior leader. He's your bell cow. One of the best backs in Conference USA history, best back in UAB history. Let's ride number four to this victory. You're not confident in your offensive line. I would kick it. Skip Holt says, Max, get out of here. <laughs> We're going for it right there. They they look to sub Brown out of the game. I think they realized it was third down. Wait a sec. We need our workhorse back there. They bring Spencer Brown back onto the field. If they're doing that, I would expect a run here. Left hand side. And there you go, Mr. Romo. Who's going to lead this two minute drill for the Louisiana Tech? Very similar decision to a week from a week ago. Right. Last week they went with Allen. We talked with Coach Holtz. He regretted that decision, said he probably should have stuck with his starter, Luke Anthony. But as I'm saying that and looking at the huddle, it looks like they're going to go with Aaron Allen, who's, I mean, I was about to say the hotter hand, but really both quarterbacks have been solid. They're trusting number three here, though. And that's got to hurt if you're Luke Anthony. Two weeks in a row, you don't get the final drive. I know he's a transfer, but you want that opportunity to lead your team. Let's see what Allen can do here. Smoke Harris in motion. One timeout preserved by Louisiana Tech. Allen has room to run, launches it, incomplete, and no flags. That play right there is why Allen's in the game. He has room to run. When you break up the pocket, go get the first down. It's so important on two minute drives, just find the first completion. You don't have to get it all in one pass. Allen. Oh, he had Harris, and that would have been first down yardage. Gosh, he's right there. Love the call once again by Skip Holtz. They've seen slants all night long. Go with the slant, and then he sticks his right foot in the ground. Smoke Harris breaks out. If that's an accurate throw and he catches that ball, he'll catch that and roll forward to 15, 20-yard gain, honestly. Back-to-back -back plays where you're kicking yourself if you're La Tech. Allen stepping up. Now throws it, complete. First down to the 25-yard line, Adrian Hardy. Great job by this unit. Jordan Smith, UAB's elite pass rusher, number 22. He's on the bottom of your screen against Donovan Campbell. He gets upfield. Allen steps up, takes his eyes from left to right, finds this dig route. Great pickup right there. And we've talked about it all night, this third down situation. Look for those dig routes from Hardy. He's a big physical receiver, and you can see Allen getting rushed to his left, gets out of the pocket, but he keeps his eyes downfield. Almost tipped right there, but a very accurate, catchable throw. And in these two-minute situations, when you have two deep safeties dropping way back in coverage, that's when dig routes can win for you. Now that they completed one, would not be surprised if they go back to it. You know they're telling Allen right now, don't be afraid to use your legs if the pocket breaks down. But you're also, as a coach, saying you don't want to put too much 
in his brain. Just go out and let him play. Trust him. This is why you, you train all offseason situational football to be prepared for these, uh, these scenarios. Mm -hmm. Allen, pump fake, steps up, running and tripped up before he could get to the sideline by Jordan Smith. Big play, clock moving. Shoestring tackle by Jordan Smith, and that he's showcasing his athletic ability at 6'7", 250 plus. He's running toe to toe with Aaron Allen, the quarterback. That's a big time play right there. In this two minute situation with one timeout and a minute left, if you catch the ball outside of the numbers, these receivers are taught to get as much as you can and get out of bounds. If you catch the ball in the middle of the field, it's not worth trying to run for the sideline. Just get up and get as much as you can. With one timeout, you can still, you still have a little bit of a buffer. Third and three. And Smoke again has it, and that might be a late hit. No flag. I have a feeling if we were not at 25% capacity, this stadium would be going nuts. So first and 10 for the 36. Allen over the middle, complete to Harris into UAB territory. We'll take another look. I haven't seen anything to overturn the call in the field, which was a catch. Sometimes it helps being 5'6". <laughs> Can go down a little bit easier. You're in four down territory, 48 seconds left in the game. Just give me your best concept. And to me, that's on the bottom of your screen with Smoke Harris and Adrian Hardy. Let's work a two-man concept with those guys. On third and ten, Allen looks that way. He's got smoke. He's got a first down. Clock stops with 42 seconds left. What did we see the first play of this possession? We saw in breaking slant, and he cut it out right, right out the five-yard line. This time, he crosses the face, gives him a slant. Good cat and mouse game. Great call right there by Skip Holtz. And remember, they still have one timeout left. Allen throws to the sideline. Maxwell makes a critical mistake. Could have stepped out of bounds, did not. They'll have to burn their final timeout. You have to step out, even if you're a young receiver. Got to know the situation. He's so close to the, to the sideline, but he gets those knees in. You're still fine. Luckily, you had that timeout. But, man, that, that's exactly why you call that play. You have a hitch towards the sideline. You know that worst-case scenario, if you have pressure, Allen can get the ball out of his hands to the right sideline. He can pick up five, pick up six. Critical mistake, though, by a young Louisiana Tech receiver. And Chris, at the beginning of the game, we talked about Isaiah Graham being out, their one of their starting receivers. And I'm looking at my depth chart here. Literally all seven other guys have made impact plays today or at least got catches. It's a great job by this unit. So what are you drawing up right now if you're Skip Holtz on a second down and five, 25 seconds left, no timeouts, and you need a touchdown? I'm going back to Smoke Harris, baby. He's your playmaker. I like that they're putting, I guess now as I say that, there no Smoke Harris on the field. They're going to go with Powell instead. But I like Hardy's matchup on the top of the screen. Tucker in motion. Allen picks up the first down. They get the snap with 16. Allen, pump fake. Caught. Touchdown! Adrian Hardy! That is fantastic play calling by Skip Holtz. We saw two out routes early in that drive going to the sideline. He's just baiting that corner, baiting that corner, knowing he's got his playmaker, Adrian Hardy, on the outside. And the one time that corner jumps for the five yard out, Aaron Allen pump fakes it and, and smokes a, a whole shot right in there. It's a great play. It is great play calling by this entire staff. Great execution by this offensive unit. That cover two corner jumping up on that five yard out. You throw a whole shot right in there before the safety can get there. And when you get the ball out on time, it allows a playmaker like Hardy to do something with it. And that he does. He's in for six and Allen is stoked. What a two minute drive. Credit Aaron Allen. That is so tough to come off the bench as a backup. You know a week ago, you probably heard your coach saying, ah, man, I, I should have stuck with Luke Anthony, but it's a no-flinch mentality from number three. He's excited, has every right to be. What a drive right there. Not easy to do, but Aaron Allen does it in great fashion.